Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be another Pan That Palette update. I'm pretty excited because this is a good update. I wanted to make a little bit more progress, so that's why I waited another week and a half to film this update. I've been panning the Bad Habit Artistry palette all year long, and if you wanna catch up on my videos, I'll link my Pan That Palette playlist. I'm also doing a lot of project pans, so I'll link that playlist as well. Again, I'm pretty excited to show you my progress, so let's just get into it. All right, I figured since it's already November, let me actually just first show you what my palette looked like at the beginning of the year because my progress has been slower in the last few months and I was feeling a little bit discouraged, but then when I looked at the photos of the palette from the beginning of the year, I definitely felt more encouraged because I have made a lot of progress. So first, let me show you that one. All righty, now let me show you what my palette looked like at the end of last month. Alrighty, and this is where I am now. I am pretty excited. I have finished another eyeshadow. So this month, I pretty much only worked on two shades the entire month. I worked on Daphne, the champagne color, and I finished that one completely. And then the one that says Laurel, that is a green, I've mentioned before, that is a Franken eyeshadow. The color there was a deep green that was a little bit muddy looking on me, and I didn't really like it. So I mixed in a gold eyeshadow with that one, and so that is my Franken eyeshadow. And so I have hip pan on that Franken eyeshadow. I had hip pan on it before when it was the original color, and then I repressed it with the gold. And I have hip pan again. I actually remembered to take a picture of the look that I wore quite a bit using this palette. And again, the Franken shadow and Daphne were the only two colors I even touched in the last month, which is what it is, I don't really mind. So what I wore was Daphne in the inner corner and then the Franken eyeshadow all over the lid and then some browns in the crease and outer corner. I wore that look a lot and I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought that it looked really nice. Daphne was actually really pretty inner corner highlight. I really did enjoy using that eyeshadow. I'm really happy. So I have officially finished three eyeshadows in this palette. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very excited with that. I've mentioned in other updates. Initially, I did wanna finish this entire palette, but my progress slowed down because I began to focus on using my other eyeshadow palettes more. The first month of this project, I pretty much only used this palette alone when I used it, and then other days of the week, I would still use other palettes. But then after that first month, I started combining this palette with other palettes pretty much on a regular basis because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I wanna make sure I'm using them. And if you're watching my other pro projects, I am doing a lot of usage style projects where I am just trying to get to a certain number of uses on a lot of my eyeshadow palettes because I have so many. I know that so many of them I'll never hit pan and definitely never finish, which is okay with me. Therefore, I'd rather be rotating through my collection but I'm so happy with where I am in this palette. Now, there's not a lot of time left, so initially I was gonna do two more updates. I think I may end up only doing one more because this one is so late. So I'm not too sure about future goals. I mean, the two matte shades I had intended on finishing, and I don't have a lot of Tuscany left, but I haven't really used that one lately. Um, the Franken Shadow, I really love that one. It's really pretty. I think I'll want to use that one a little bit more. I don't know. I definitely don't think there's any colors I could finish before the, the end of the year. It doesn't seem like it looking at it. I mean, maybe if I really focused, I could finish Tuscany because that's a pretty dark brown. I could use that on the lower lash line or on the outer corner. So that one I probably could finish if I really put my mind to it. I'm just not sure, honestly. So I may just play around with this palette for the last you know, month and a half of the project and see how it goes. But honestly, the fact that I finished three eyeshadows, I've got pan on everything else. The pan on Laurel would be even bigger, except that I added that gold eyeshadow from another palette. So I even added product to this palette. So considering all of that, I'm actually very, very happy with the progress that I have made. My favorite colors in this palette are Dorsey. I really do love that one. 
Um, and Primavera, I like that one too. Klimt is nice. And my Franken Shadow, that's probably one of my favorites too. So we'll see. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with you know the little time that is left in this project, but I'm very, very happy with it overall. And Pan That Palette is something I definitely want to continue doing. This was my third year doing Pan That Palette. Now, I've never finished an entire large palette like this. Um, I've only finished small quads like several years ago when I had a much smaller collection, but I've definitely never finished a full size palette. But I'm happy with how much pan I have and the fact that I have finished several eyeshadows. The first two years that I did do pan that palette, I didn't even finish any eyeshadows then, but I will say I did choose palettes those years that had a lot more product and were not as soft of a formula. It was Tarte and Too Faced, which are much harder to hit pan on than this. Honestly, these are shallow pans and it's a soft formula. It's an ABH dupe, so it's actually pretty similar to the ABH formula. Therefore, you know, I'm okay with where I've gotten with this palette so far. And the fact that I have finished multiple eyeshadows is definitely, definitely a win. Please let us know how your pan that palettes are doing. I'm very, very interested to hear. A lot of people I watch are definitely finishing up entire palettes, which is so amazing. And I really do love seeing that. I don't think it's realistic for me, but it's definitely fun to see. So that is it for this update. I'm pretty excited. I finished another eyeshadow. I hit pan on my Franken shadow. Honestly, I really can't complain. I haven't fully decided, you know, what I'm gonna work on for the rest of this project, but maybe I'll just kind of play around with it and see how I feel. So that is it. If you're interested, I'll link my pan that palette, my project pan playlists. If you want to catch up with those, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.